वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए न्यू चैप्टर यूनिट 16 सीक्वेंसेस सीक्वेंसेस ए सीक्वेंस इज एन ऑर्डर्ड सेट ऑफ नंबर्स ईच नंबर इन द सीक्वेंस इज कॉल्ड अ टर्म द टर्म्स ऑफ अ सीक्वेंस फॉर्म अ रेगुलर पैटर्न एंड आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ फॉलोइंग अ रूल एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अ सीक्वेंस इज 6 8 10 12 14 16 etc etc the first term of this sequence is 6 and the second term is 8 third term 10 fourth term 12 in this sequence the rule is add 2 to each term to give the next term there are two types of sequence arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence Arithmetic sequences are ones where there is a common difference between consecutive terms. This can be positive or negative. For example, the common difference is positive four, positive five, positive eight, etc., etc., or negative five, negative eight, negative ten, etc., etc. Here I am going to give you two examples. First example is three, seven, eleven, fifteen, etc., etc. Here, the common difference is plus four each time, and the next one twenty eight, twenty twelve, four, etc., etc., where the common difference is minus eight each time, and the next sequence is geometric sequence. Geometric sequences are ones where there is a common ratio between consecutive terms. This can be by multiplying or by dividing. For example, multiply by four, multiply by eight, multiply by nine, or divided by three, divided by five, divided by eight. Here I gave you two examples. The first example four eight. To 16, 32, 64, etc., etc. Here the rule is double the number. And the next example, 2, 8, 32, 128, etc., etc. The rule is multiply by four each time. The next one, term to term rule, a rule which describes. How to get from one term to the next is called a term-to-term -term rule. In the above examples, the rule is multiply by four each time, or double the number, or plus four each time, or minus eight each time. Let's see the examples. Exercise sixteen point one a. In your student book, page number one hundred and fifteen, one hundred and fifty-five. For each of the sequences, write if it is arithmetic, a, geometric, g, or neither, n. Describe the term-to-term -term rule. Calculate the next two terms. First sequence is five, ten, twenty, forty, eighty. You can see here. Five times two is ten. Ten times two is twenty. Twenty times two is forty. That means the term-to-term -term rule for this sequence is multiply by two. So this is a geometric sequence. So we can write the letter G. The next two terms to find out the next terms: eighty multiply by two, one hundred and sixty. One hundred and sixty multiply by two, three hundred and twenty. So the next two terms are. One hundred and sixty, three hundred and twenty. The next question: four, five, seven, ten, fourteen. First term is four. Second term is five. Four plus one is five. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus three is ten. Ten plus four is forty. That means there is. We cannot find any common difference between the sequence, between the terms. Or there is no any common ratios, so this is not an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence. So we can write 
this is neither n. The term to term rule for this sequence is plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and the next two terms are from the last term 14, 14 plus 5 is 19 and 19 plus 6 is 25. So the next two terms are 19 and 25. The next example 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. That means the term to term rule for this sequence is plus 2. So this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. We can write the letter A. The next two terms add 2 from the last term 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 2, 14. Now we are going to move the next topic, position to term rules, the nth term. The table gives the terms of a sequence and their position. Position, terms. First position, it is 1. Second position, 4. Third position, 7. Fourth position, 10. Fifth position, 13. This one we can write it as T1. The first term is 1, T2, the second term 4, T3, the third term 7, T4, the fourth term 10, T5, the fifth term 13. Continue this sequence, we get T6, T7, T8, like this. We can use the letter D for the difference between consecutive terms. In this sequence, the rule is plus 3. That means D is plus 3. And we can write the terms like this. T1 is equal to 1. T2 is equal to 4. But we know T2 is T1 plus D. T3 is equal to 7. But we can write it as T3 is T2 plus D. That means T1 plus D plus D. Or this one we can write it as T1 plus 2D. T4 is equal to 10. It is T3 plus D. We can write it as T1 plus D plus D plus D. That's equal T1 plus 3D. T5 equal to 13. We can write it as T4 plus D. That's equal T1 plus D plus D plus D plus D. It is T1 plus 4D. In general, the value of the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is Tn. Tn is the nth term. Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into D where T1 is the value of the first term and D is the difference between consecutive terms. Now we are going to solve some problems using the general formula. This question from your student book page number 158 exercise 16.2a and 2b. For each of the sequence Derive simplified formula for the nth term of the sequence. Use the posi position to term to term rule to find the value of the term shown in the bracket. First sequence given 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 etc etc. From this sequence we can write T1. The first term is 2 and D. The difference between each term is 2. T1 is 2, D is 2. And using the general formula, Tn, to find out the nth term, the formula is Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into T. We can substitute the values for T1 and D in the formula. So we get Tn equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into 2. Then we get Tn equal to 2 plus 2n minus 2. Simplified this, we get Tn equal to 2n. 
So we finish the first question. The second question use the position to term to term rule to find the value of the term shown in the bracket. In the bracket T21. We want to find out T21. Use the formula again Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into T D. So T21 equal to 2 plus 21 minus 1 into 2. That means T21 equal to 2 plus 20 multiplied by 2. T21 is 2 plus 20 times 2 is 40. So we get T21 is 42. One more example I am going to show you. The sequence is 5, 10, 15, 20. Here the first term is 5. So T1 is 5. And the difference between each term is 5. So D is 5. Use the formula Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into D. So we can derive the formula Tn equal to 5 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 5. Because substitute the values for T1 and D. Again, Tn equal to 5 plus n minus 1 into 5 is 5n minus 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we get Tn equal to 5n. So finish the first question. To find out the second question, in the bracket, the term is T11. So Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into D. So we find out T11. T11 equal to 5 plus 11 minus 1 into 5 because n is 11. So T11 is 5 plus 10 multiplied by 5. So T11 is 5 plus 50. It is 55. T we get the answer T11, 55. Students, you have works in your student book, page number 156, exercise 16.1a, 16.1b. You want to find out the next two terms and term to term rule for in in the given sequences and in page number 158 exercise 16.2a 16.2b find out the nth term please do all the questions in your notebook thank you